This cyclist is applying work to the bike in order to produce power, which propels the bike up the hill. Let's take a look at the relationship between work and power. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. What do these three video clips have in common? They are all examples of work. Work occurs when a force causes an object to move in the direction of the force. Work transfers energy from one object to another. Let's take a look at an example. Force is being applied to the bowling ball by the bowler. The force is applied in the direction that the bowling ball is moving. When he releases the bowling ball, he will no longer be doing work because he can no longer apply force to the bowling ball. Applying force does not always result in work being done. Imagine you are trying to push a car. You push and push, but the car won't move. Because there is no movement, there is no work that is done. As soon as the car moves, work is being done. Two things must happen for work to be done on an object. The object must move as the force is applied, and the direction of the object's motion is the same as the direction of the force. Let's take a look at a couple of examples and non-examples. You can calculate work by multiplying force applied to the object by the distance, which is also called displacement that the object moves. The formula equals W equals F times D. Work is expressed in joules, which is the amount of work done by a force of one newton acting through a distance of one meter. Now let's talk about how work relates to power. Which of these two cars is more powerful? This race car or the friendly family car? Yes, the race car. But what are you measuring when you're talking about power? You can think of power of how fast work is done, or the rate at which energy is transferred. Power can be calculated by taking the amount of work done, and then divide this by the time it takes to do the work. The unit used to express power is called a watt, which is joules per second. For example, when you ride a bike, you put out 50 joules of work in five seconds. So you have produced 10 joules per second or 10 watts of power. You can increase power by either increasing the amount of work or decreasing the amount of time. So in summary, power is calculated by taking the amount of work done and then divide this by the amount of time it takes to complete the work. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.